All right, pinball fans, today is the day to update. If you've been scared up until now, if you're on 32-bit, you've been scared to update to 64-bit, you know, you've been wanting to try the new VPW tables, the new color files, I mean, all the new the new popper with the, with the update, auto-record, all that stuff. Today is the day I'm going to get you there in less than 30 minutes, okay? So, like I said, I... I spent the last two days working on a pinball machine with Dolph. I have never had a chance to work with it before. Um, the Dolph part was super simple. Um, it's basically you just drag a config file over and put it in the new Dolph folder. All right. So that part's simple. So if you were scared about messing up Dolph, don't be. Super, super easy. But I built a new file structure with all the files, whereas before I had like a 15 step, it's one now. Okay. One file. So if you um, you download uh, my zip, it's going to have two files here and another zip for uh, runtime. In case you get some kind of error when you're running 10.8 uh, tables, you could uh, run C++. This will, you extract this, run the install all bat, and it'll install them all, reboot, and you should be good to go. All right, so we're going to get you from 32-bit, just plain 32-bit, the older baller, it needs to be on the baller system because that's how I did the file structure. I got, you know, almost 400 files here all in one, but they're all in order. All the systems updated, you'll have everything up updated until today, okay? So, like I said, 32-bit, 64-bit, you have 10.7, 10.8, new flex DMD, B2S, uh, color system, everything, okay? New popper, 1.5, all that. Okay, so here we go. It's uh, as simple as this. You're going to open up your C drive. You want to check and make sure if you don't know you're on Baller, you're, uh, run your um, popper config. So let's go to popper, pin up popper config. Needs to be, at least be on 1.46. Okay, so I installed the old Baller here. And we're going to get started. So you can look at C drive. You should have a direct output folder if you have your Dolph set up. Okay. It should be on C drive. You should have a V pinball folder. When you go inside that, you should have visual pinball with no space, all one word. That's how Popper uh, Nailbuster set it up for Popper. And um, so that helps you know that you have the right file structure. So visual pinball. Then. Uh, pinup system install on future pinball. Okay, so we're going to go into visual pinball. We're going to go to the tables folder and then you should have a plugins folder. That is for 32 bit. All right, so when you open that up, you should have a shortcut to your direct output. All right, so if everything looks like this, you're good to, you're good to go to update. Okay, as long as the file structure, visual pinball, VPN MAME, all that. So long as this all looks right. And you're good to go. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go to C drive. We're going to take this direct output 64. We're just going to drag it over. All right? Just like that. Now, before we update our files, what we're going to do, we need to back up two files. There's really only two important files. One, you're going to go in here. You're going to go to your in your direct output folder. You're going to copy this config out, all right? Because you know this works. If you already have your DOF, your lights, your feedback, everything set up, drag it out, copy here, all right? Like I said, I had a chance to work on a machine the past couple of days. It was a machine from uh, the Pinball King. Uh, beautiful machine, but definitely not worth the money. Price on those things is ridiculous, and the PC in it is like a toaster trying to run 4K, okay? So... Um, I definitely suggest you know people try to build their own cab, or at the very least get a At Games Legends and then hook you up a PC to it and then set it up yourself. Buying a fully custom cab with preloaded software and all that is just terrible. Um, you really know need to know how to um, set it all up yourself. Okay. But, like I said, I tried this out. I worked on a, uh, the Pinball King cab, fully loaded cab. Had the lights, the feedback, uh, full DMD, back glass, real DMD. I mean, the works. Beautiful machine. So thanks to John D for letting me uh, work on it. Um, 
and I was glad to get him fully updated, but he couldn't play the newest tables. Uh, they just bring the machine to a crawl. So, but anyway, so he's updated. Maybe get a better PC later. Um, so we got the config out. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go to V Pinball. We're gonna go to Visual Pinball. All right, then we're gonna go V Pin Main. All right, you want your DMD device to I and I. We need to take that out, copy it out here. You can drag it out, copy it either one. It doesn't need to be in there. We're gonna put a new one in. Okay, so those are the only two files: the config, the DMD device, the I and I. That's it. That's all you got to worry about. So we're gonna go back to the root C drive. Okay, now we're gonna take this V pinball folder and we're just gonna drop it in. Just boop, replace, just like that. We just put everything in. So now we just need to go and register everything. Okay. So what we're gonna do? Go to V pinball, Visual pinball, tables. We're going to go in here. First thing we're going to do, we're going to right click the B2S Backglass Server Registration app. Okay, right click, run as administrator. Hit yes, okay, yes, there you go. Then you're going to scroll down, you're going to find the pup register 64.bat. All right, so we're going to right click that, run that as administrator. You're going to type in yes, and that's it, okay? Um, if nothing popped up, you could run it again. It, it, it actually works, and nothing pops up if it works. Um, but then you can do it again a second time. It'll pop up and say make sure, but that's it. So that's set up. You're going to go back. We're going to go to VPIN main folder, all right? We're going to scroll down. You're going to find the flexdmdui.exe. So right here, flexdmdui.exe. We're going to click that. As you can see, look, these are X'd out because we updated it. We need a new file, so let's register that one. Turn green, register that one, turn green. That's it. Flexdmd is set up and registered. Close that out. You're going to go down. You're going to hit... Uh, Double click setup.exe. Gonna hit install. This is a new 3.6. There. That's it. Quit. Now I've already put the 3.6 ROMs in here too, so you don't have to worry about that. You have all the updated ROMs. So let's do the 64 bit. Install. Yes. Okay. Uh, you can check your defaults. I'll show you what I like to normally set up. I'll click color. But this is how it should look. I use resampling and all these settings on the left. Okay, quit. Now we're going to go back one more. Now that we've set uh, Flex, uh, Pin Mame, B2S, we're going to go back one more to the Pin Up System. So you're going to double click that. You need to go down to you find Pin Up Menu Setup.exe. All right, you're going to double click that. It's going to tell you that it needs to update your list. Just hit yes. Update of database is complete. Hit OK. And you're going to get this new popper right here. Okay. Now we're on 1.5. See that? So another cool feature you have, you now have this button over here. You can check for updates. I'll go ahead and uh, click it just to show you what it looks like. When you click updates. I have a full video on this, so you can check it out later. And you can hit check for updates. So now from now on, once, once everything's updated, See, some of my files are even newer than this update, so it's just going to because I have the tonight's version of um, 10.8 uh, DirectX and GL, so that's the only reason. So what we can do here, since I have two newer folders, I don't I don't want them, so I'm going to click it, right click, and hit ignore. Uh, skip this file this time. Skip this time. Then I'm click this one. Same thing. Skip file this time. So the only thing we're going to update is this popper auto record. That's the older version, so hit apply updates. That's it. And we're done. So we can close that out. Now, now that we've got all that done, let's back up. We need to go to um, Visual Pinball, VPN main. 
And this is where all the bread and butter is. This is, this is the only part that is kind of crucial. You need to open up the new DMD device.ini. Okay. I hate Windows 11. It, it keeps stacking them. So, all right, I have this one open. Now, you need to come over here and open your original one. And if they stick them together, you can left drag one off of the other so you can get them separated so you can see them. Um, and what you need are the numbers. So I need the numbers for my DMD location. Um, I have everything turned on already. I have skip analytics already true. So you don't have to worry about that. Color DMD, scale model, you don't have to worry about any of this. If you want scale to HD, you could turn that on. But it looks fine without it. Uh, have it staying on top, all that. So basically we need to come down to x-axis. So I need to copy my x-axis out of my original copy. Paste, because this is your DMD location. All right, copy, paste, and then the size, copy. You can copy and paste it, or you can just type it in if you're a quick typer. Paste. All right, I got all those numbers in. Um, the only other thing I noticed when I was working on the Pinball King one, because he so had a real DM there, real DMD in there also. I had to come down here to um, it says it's about the pin up. Uh, where's it at? Pin to DMD. Where's it at? Right here. So pin to DMD. Instead of having it to true for color DMD, you type in native. Okay. So it would look like native, like that. Native, all right? So if you have a real DMD, put that on native. All right, so, and then the only other thing is, if you have a bunch of saved DMD locations for like full DMD or something, you need, I'll show you my backup because I don't have any on there. Uh, let's see, all right. This is off my cab, so I have a few down here. So basically, you would go to the bottom of the list after it, you see style and then the color green or whatever. Start with this GIF part. So you want to copy. You want to hold down the left mouse and you want to drag it all the way down. You want to copy all these DMD. Highlight all these DMD locations. Right click, copy, and then you're going to go to the bottom of your new DMD device, the INI, and paste it. All right. So that just put all my DMD locations in that I had saved. Okay? And that's the main thing. Like I said, if you don't want to have to move a bunch of DMDs around or resave them and everything, you need to do this. It'll save you a lot of time. Okay? So, make, check your settings. Make sure you have them pretty much the same as your old one if you want to keep them. Except for like color and all. You want to leave all that on. Um, and then we'll save this. Now, we're going to go to back again. We're going to go to our tables folder. Then we're going to go to plugin 64. All right, open that up. Now we need to open up another screen for our hard drive. We need to go to C drive. And all we do, this is direct output 64, okay? All we need to do is open this up. Make sure that the config is in there. The one that we took out of the 32, we're going to put in here, override. Okay? Once you do that, you back up. And we're going to hold down our right mouse. We're going to make a shortcut into this plugin 64 for. Let go. Create shortcut. Bam. Just like that. Now I'm going to show you I'm going to back up. I'm going to put some tables and stuff in here. That way, uh, and ROMs, that way I can show you that it works. So, all right. So now, when I run, I'm gonna, this is the new uh, 10.8. I'm going to hit Preferences. You want to check your video graphics options. And you want them to look something like this. You can pause this, check it. Um, if you're running DirectX, you can put it in exclusive full screen. Make sure you got the right resolution, and uh, so I would want 164 hertz.
make sure you have the right hertz and resolution okay um, and then check your settings out but for recording I'm going to do this window mode alright I hit file open uh, let's see a table 24 hit play I'm just going to show you that this uh, DOF is active and now I got to hit my plugins there we go direct output is active everything should work as long as you have the, your plugins uh, have the config file in there in the direct output So, on the other thing, I want to show you how to set up the new Popper Alt launches. Even though I have another video for that, I'll go over it right quick. So we're going to go to the uh, Popper config. We're going to go to the uh, Games Manager, and at the very top, it have lookups. So we're going to go to that. Then we're going to open up our folder. We need to go to our v Visual Pinball folder. So V Pinball, Visual Pinball. You're going to see you got all these new XEs now. The default one is going to be uh, vpinballx.exe. That is 10.7.4 64-bit. All right? So we're not going to mess with that. We already have that one as default, so we're going to add these other ones. So I'm just going to right-click and go to Properties. Copy that name, whole name, exe and all. So I got the GL version in there. All right, and I'm going to go to... This one's a direct X. Just hit enter and go right up under it. And then, of course, a 32 bit. You might have a table like Ghostbusters or something you want to run the old 32 bit on. So hit down, paste, that's x86. Now, what I did notice on a couple of tables, since now your default is 10.7.4 um, 64 bit. A couple of original tables didn't work in DOF on the machine, but when we switched it to use the V Pinball 64, which is a 10.864, this one right here, um, it worked. So has something to do with the DOF configs. But all the tables that we tested worked. So we hit this. We're gonna hit Save List. All right. Now I need to add a few tables just so I can show you how to do this. So I'm going to hit Add Tables, Scan. I'm just going to click a few here. All right. Add the game system. All right. So, so all you need to do is, so if uh, on 24 you wanted to run the new direct 10.8. All right, so all you do is go down here on the right where it says alternate launch. Click this. There we go, GL or DirectX. So you pick DirectX, hit save. That's it. So when you launch 24 in Popper, it's going to use that EXE. It's just that simple. So when you download a new VPW table, you're going to add it to your system. Make sure that you go down here and click uh, 64. That's it, guys. I mean, we just updated just like that. Everything. New popper, everything. From here on out, you just click this. You can check for uh, updates. It'll keep you updated. I mean, it doesn't get any easier than that. So, uh, like I said, now's the time. Hope that helps you out. Um, like I said, your DOF should work. Check and make sure you got direct output. Direct output 64. You need to take the config out of here. Put it into here. Then you need to go to your... Um, Tables folder, C, V Pinball, Visual Pinball, Tables, and Plugins. So, Plugins should have had a shortcut to Output. And then, Plugins 64 should have a shortcut to uh, Output 64. I don't know what this other one, X64, I must be an old one I had. You can delete that. But you just need Direct Output 64, shortcut to that. All right. That's it, guys. Let me know how it goes. I hope that helps you out. Until next time.